Finally, I can show you something where I have used my blocking wires. Now, this is a project for a magazine. Um, it's going to consist of three blocks like this. Um, and I just want to show you how I have started the blocking. I'm going to zoom in for you so that you can see nicely the um, the wires. Can you see there's the wire? Uh, let's go a little bit back. Okay. okay. If you look there, you will see that the wire goes through every stitch. It goes in the one stitch and out the next, and in the one and out the next. So I've zigzagged the wire through the entire way of this um, the side. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's go up. And then I've secured the wires with the Knitbrow blocking pins. This is a blocking mat. It's one of these hard foam mats that you can get. Okay. So you will see all these little white um, blocks holding the wires are the Knitpro blocking pins that I usually use. And what this does is it helps you to get a perfect square because you measure from wire to wire. Now mine measures exactly 65 centimeters between the wires that way and 65 between the wires that way. Now this is a wonderful project to show you how blocking works and how blocking doesn't work. I knew this was going to happen, so um, bear with me. I want to show you what it looks like when I take it off. Let me just move my camera quickly. I've now removed all the pins. As you can see, they're all there on the one side, but the wires are still in, and this thing is still holding its shape perfectly. Alrighty, you can see that I've got, um, let me just loosen this thing so that I can turn it. I've got a boomerang shawl here that I've knitted. Uh, I couldn't um, do my design work last week not having power. I need to crochet a row and type a row and crochet a row and type a row and I couldn't do that. So I just grabbed a beautiful skein of yarn and I started knitting myself a boomerang shawl to keep my hands occupied. Now, in here, you will see here that I've got T-pins. Oh, by the way, I found my T-pins. Let me show you what they look like. And these little buggers are damn sharp. Um, let me just get a handful of them and then I can show you. This is what the T-pins look like. Um, these are Nipro T-pins. Let me take one for you out so that you can nicely see. Those are the blocking pins from Knitpro. I use them a lot. They are very, very nice to work with and they're long and very sturdy and they don't rust. So on this edge here, I've got the T-pins. On that edge there, let me zoom in for you a little bit. Uh, there you can see the nice bit of shine from the blocking wire. If you look there, you'll see that there's a blocking wire in there. The end is sticking out over there. And the blocking wire shapes the thing nicely. And then I've secured the blocking wire with the blocking pins also from Knitpro. So all three of these, the T-pins, the blocking pins and the blocking wires are all Knitpro products and they work exceptionally well. Now, the, the reason why I use the blocking wire is because I wanted to shape that inside edge of the um, boomerang shawl. And um, let me take a small wire here, then I can show you. Here I have a small wire. Can you see? It's quite flexible. And it's very nice to shape shawls um, with this because of this ability to bend the wire and it will go back to its normal shape again. So here at last I could show you what it looks like with the blocking wires. Now you will see I've got two wires in. Um, on that side on the far end there in the top corner now there's a piece of the blocking wire sticking out. 
if you look between those two pins maybe I can go over there and show you I'm sorry I'm alone today I haven't got a hand you will see that the blocking wire sticks out here it's quite long and in the middle um, let me get there let me just find it um, here in the middle they cross there's the end of the one and there's the start of the other one so there's two of the blocking wires into that um, the long edge or rather the, the bent edge of the shawl um, just for interest sake this is Misty Alpaca it's made in Peru I bought it in New Zealand and I knitted it in South Africa what a delightful little project um, this project is actually going to be up on my blog in a day or two for the knitters so if you're a knitter enjoy that one it's going to be a free pattern and it's lovely for that one odd hank that you don't know what to do with i hope you enjoy it